So consider joining my membership. I have 17 exclusive videos and all the saved live streams from three months in Barakai, um, BGC, Makati, you name it. Um, to basically as an expat um, coming to the Philippines from Western countries, there's a big community of expats out here. And um, what you would think when you come over here is you gotta watch out for Filipinos, you know, you're out of your element, you're in their area, you know, they might be a problem for you, you're a stranger, you're a, uh, you know, you're a guest, yada, 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 all that shit, right? That would be natural thinking is that that's gonna make a problem for you, right? Not just, you know, uh, something else. But what I've noticed, at least as a public figure, um, essentially on a very small level in a YouTuber is, um, and what I've talked to with my civilian or non-YouTuber friends, um, really what's gonna be a problem is other expats. Um, at this particular moment, um, since somebody took a shot at me who I refuse to make any more famous since they are, you know, getting 2,000 views a video in two days out of uh, over half a million subscribers, uh, basically I flamed them and completely annihilated them, um, embarrassed them and, you know, uh, came out swinging. They took one punch at me and I took 55 and hammered them into the ground and embarrassed them heavily. Now I have people in the comments threatening to pull up on me. Um, as you can see from this video you're looking at, I am not hiding. And when I was that guy pulling up for that action, I never ever ever sent a text message or left a comment on a pro popular platform with 1.1 thousand views and 20,000 subscribers. Never in a million years would I think of doing that. I would pull up for that action quietly and hope that I didn't go to jail. And if you go to jail in the Philippines and you're used to going to jail in America, you're in for it because it's not gonna be what you think it is. There's no air conditioning. You're shitting into a fucking dirt hole. Um, yeah, you're not gonna like it. So anyways, um, what I'm noticing is from many uh, meetings with people, people uh, on the beaches in Boracay that I've met and people in general, I have yet to see a fist fight in the Philippines. I almost walked into a shooting the other day where the police shot a bad guy. They, there's that video, if you go back to shots fired on uh, that street that I can't even name, um, you know, the walking street here in Makati. Um, at the end of the day, you're gonna have trouble with other passport bros or expats. You're not gonna have trouble with these dudes that I'm walking by right now. That's been my experience in the last eight, nine months, whatever this has been. Um, you're gonna end up having trouble with other uh, dudes that are out here like you. I have multiple people that like, I'll give out my burner Facebook um, because I wanna do, have them call into my live or I'll allow you know, my inner circle members or people that I get close with in my live chat community to call me or to um, uh, communicate with me or rather uh, on Facebook Messenger if they need something or whatever, whatever. And that will get out and I will get guys like that I'm not even gonna name their names and give them any fame that will say to me, they will just literally be in my message request talking about that, um, hey, little man, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pull up on you in Barakai. I'm gonna pull up on you in Makati. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. Literally out of nowhere. Never seen the dudes in my life. Never saw them in my live. Never saw them in my community. Never saw them anywhere. I have no clue who they are and they're, talking about it'll be like a usually like a guy that's like 55 or 60 posing with an a less than desirable filipina and they will just be straight out the gate threatening me and trying to belittle me in this and that sometimes I, I come back and clap back and flame them like i did that bitch boy i just did you know the guy that used to be famous and other times i literally just don't even say anything and it's like just amazing to me that all of my problems in the Philippines are not with Filipinos, they are with other foreigners, like expat, passport bros, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Um, so that's just something that will be shocking to you when you think, oh, I'm in a foreign land, you know, these guys got the home field advantage, you don't wanna get over, you know, you don't want to uh, 
you know, get overcharged, pay the foreigner price, you know, this or that. You know what you're gonna have problems with? You're gonna have problems with other dudes with your skin color. White guys, people, like, you gotta be careful out here, man. You're, you're actually gonna be surprised by that. A lot of people have told me, even people that aren't YouTubers, that their only problems were with other expats, whether it's other expats trying to take advantage of you, asking you for loans, um, wanting to fight you. We heard about that situation in Dumaguete where expat on expat violence, somebody did a murder, attempted murder on a Navy SEAL or something. And I forget what the exact story was, but you can look it up. But yeah, so that's the interesting thing that you will figure out when you get here to the Philippines is you don't need to fear Filipinos and you don't need to fear other expats, but the people that are going to be threatening you in my case by the dozens are all white guy expats, to be completely honest with you. Um, the, I, again, I have yet to see a fight. I did almost walk into a shooting the other day on this street right here, but I, on that street right there, but I have yet to see a physical altercation, straight up. So like at the end of the day, the people that you gotta look out for are your own kind, and there's a lot of jealousy. I'm talking that talk, talking this red pill, don't get handcuffed at the airport, don't be a human ATM machine. And I think there's a lot of guys that are in that situation of the handcuffed human ATM machine, and they resent the message that I'm kicking and they realize that they're in a bad spot. And so they just take out their anger on me rather than get away from that human ATM machine uh, experience. So. That's just what I've noticed is that um, that's gonna be your big problem in the Philippines. It's not gonna be the native people. The native people are generally very kind and sweet and just a general nice people. Now, do you need to be careful? Did I tell you the thing about the taxi cabs? And did I tell you this and that? Absolutely. Be careful wherever you go. But the truth of the matter is that the big problems are going to be with other uh foreigners that's who's threatening me by the dozens through my youtube channel that's the people that i've had like close calls with like on the beaches of barakai or like the people that you will notice um the initial thing will be to get close to you and then it could be them uh trying to you know ask you for a loan take advantage of you could be them actually wanting to physically fight you whereas filipinos are generally pretty peaceful and pretty chill like i said i have yet to see an altercation of any kind but i have like 17 dudes that are supposed to pull up on me right now and they know where i'm at because i walk these streets of makati all day and then i'm outside live streaming in barakai you can see what restaurant i'm at you can see all that so at the end of the day guys that's the shocker is that passport bro expats whatever that's going to end up being your problem in this beautiful country uh if you're if you're a youtuber definitely if you are just a regular civilian, my regular civilian friends have told me the same thing. So um, just bear, my, bear in mind that and uh, you know, just enjoy your time here and don't, don't let anyone scare you or anything. My uh, thing in the past, I was a street guy. I'm not, I make no secret of that. When I was gonna do something to someone, I would never, ever, ever even say it on a phone call. I would never say it on a text message. I would certainly not say it to someone with 20,000 subscribers with thousands of views on a video, I would pull up quietly for that action. So to all the goofy human ATM machines out there saying something to me, to all the people saying something to me, because I embarrassed a 37 year old man, um, pull up for that action. Don't talk, don't put it in my comment section, pull up and let's see what happens. People talking to me about filming people in this and that. I'm outside, people film me all day. There is no expectation of privacy when you're outside. This P. Burgos right here. That's the Trump Towers right there. City Garden Hotel, Hossein's Persian Kebab, yeah. So at the end of the day, um, people wanna give their opinion and try to control my channel. Let me say this one last time. I'll do whatever I want, whenever I want, and you ain't gonna do nothing about it, you little keyboard warrior. Stay in your mommy's basement and be a good boy and stay quiet because a guy like me, you're not gonna tell me nothing, I'm not deleting nothing, and I'll do whatever I want, whenever I want. Come find me, I'm on P. Burgos all day, every day. Pull up for that action and see what happens, boy. That's an open invitation to all you beta human ATM machine, nobody losers, faceless nobodies, people defending their goofy boyfriend. Yeah, I gotta try to not to use profanity, but you know what it is, pull up, come and see me, boy. So like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and watch out for other expats, not for Filipinos. Filipinos are kind people. 
and we joke and laugh and I've been real friendly with the locals here and I like them and they like me and they're looking out for me. So be careful what you wish for, baby boy. So at the end of the day, like, comment, subscribe, share the video and you will never, ever, ever in a million years intimidate me. You know exactly where I'm at. I ain't hiding from the beaches of Barakai to the streets of Makati, BGC, all over. Come see about me and uh, don't even bother leaving your dumb comments. All right? Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and sign up all.